Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with our last break of the night. It's going to be a big one. Jaspie's 27 box prospects, rookies, and stars baseball mixer with a Julio Rodriguez 9510 autograph giveaway right here. He's a pretty big prospect for the Seattle Mariners. I'm pretty sure. What's this stuff going for now? $400 plus? Yeah, that's what I thought. There you go. I, I know we have, we have a, a, a number of customers in the Pacific Northwest. And they have some some praise for this guy here. So we'll randomize that to one person at the end of the break. All right. So there are all the boxes involved in this break. Hmm? Oh, on the bottom. I got that pro tip the other day too. They're, they're like it's the packs on the bottom. There's all the boxes that are involved in here. Nick starting off with those uh, 2020, the eight box hanger case right here. Right? That's how they that's how they come, and then yeah. people put them on the hangers. Um, so there's all the boxes there, a lot of fun boxes, and the Julio Rodriguez at the end. Big thanks to all of these folks right here. Whether you bought the there's a handful of people who bought spots straight up. Where's Shane and Sean? I know Shane Shane was was waiting for this. Hopefully they're they're going to be they'll check in soon. There are the uh, winners right here. Whether you got them in uh, these hanger breaks or the Leaf baseball break, we appreciate it. No matter how you got in, we appreciate it. All teams are in as well, no combos. So let's roll it, let's randomize it after they check our browser. It's okay, we're not trying to not trying to ruin you, ram.org. Three and a three, six the hard way. Six times here, one, two, three, four, five, and six in the final time. After six, we've got EO down to Adam Kupperman. Three and a three, six times four teams. Two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. After six times, Oakland A's, Miami Marlins. All right, so EO with the A's, Aaron Haynes with the Mets, Dan with the Red Sox, Jim with the Indians and the Pirates, Zach with the Cubs, Fred with the Orioles, Travis with the Reds, Josh with the Rockies, Ryan S., who's just checking in, organizing the collection tonight. Nice. You have the White Sox in this one. Josh with the Diamondbacks, Jack B. with the Blue Jays, Courtney with the Nationals, Adam with the Angels. Adam Richards with the Yankees. Nice. Brenton with the Mariners. Jim Morn with the Phillies. Shane, you have the Brew Crew. Robert with the Giants with Last Spot Mojo. Darren with the Cardinals. Sean with the Braves. Darren with the Rangers. Robert with the Rays. Matt Gomes, you got my Dodgers. Josh with the Tigers. Robert with the Astros. Josh with the Royals. Wade with the Twins. Jim Morn with the Padres. And Adam with the Miami Marlins. Now we'll give everybody a few minutes to, uh, maybe a few moments, not minutes to trade. And if you need to see your team again, let me know. And if you need to see the list of boxes, go back to the website, jazbeescasebreaks.com, and uh, and take, check out the list of boxes. Wade Valentine, we're going to keep the video rolling too, so Nick can, we can get a head start on this during the trading window. Twins are available for trade.
All right. Red Sox for Twins. Is that really happening? Daniel Carlberg. Okay. I see his name. Official. Good. And Wade says okay. So Boston for Minnesota, confirmed. I'm gonna write that in the chat, put it in writing, there you go. Any other trades before we go? Otherwise we're just gonna go. Rangers or Cardinals for Mariners. I know Redding is a uh, Mariners guy, so if Brenton accommodates, otherwise we're gonna roll. Okay, that trade makes, I mean, I don't know, there's so many boxes, I can't tell you if it was a fair or unfair trade, but um, it seems pretty balanced. Who knows? Depends on what comes out of here anyway. But Daniel is in Minnesota, so he's a Twins guy. And Wade is a Yankees fan, so he doesn't really want the, anything to do. Uh, but it hurts him a little for trading for the Sox. Anybody want Astros? No, no one wants Astros, right? All right, put T next to there for trade. Let's print, let's rip. Good luck. Right, and Daniel is not a Red Sox fan, especially. Remember, he's a Twins guy, Ortiz, blah, blah, blah. All right, see, it all makes sense. All right, so there is the list, the official list for the 27 box prospects, rookies, and stars baseball mixer. Glad we got this done, ladies and gentlemen. There's Robert with Last Spot Mojo Giants. You can see the T's there for trade if you're following along at home, see who draws first blood in the trade. We'll do an autograph recap at the end of the break. Remember these hangers? I guess these hangers could have autos, but not common. So we'll fly through these. As always, veteran comments won't ship, but all the rookie cards out of here and inserts will ship. Keep that in mind. But just in the interest of time, we're going to go fairly quickly through, through this. There's Max Stasi foil. All of these will ship because these are inserts. This will take us a little bit of time, but this will be the last break of the night, ladies and gentlemen. I think Jason is still alive for personals for a little bit longer. At Jaspies Breaks on Instagram Live only. I will try to try to get these right side up as much as possible. Tyler White. No, no Nick at night tonight. I think we're planning for Friday and Saturday. those rookies as much as possible beforehand, but that's numbered right there to 299. Those will be sleeved and top loaded before they go out, before they're sorted of course.
feel like it, yeah, I feel like as soon as I turn these cards right side up, they'll go back that way. Sorry, Kenley Jansen. In this short season, ladies and gentlemen, I go to the Indians. Who is everyone, does everyone, anyone have any kind of gut feeling or picks on AL, NL Rookie of the Year, all the major awards, Cy Young, MVP? I'm assuming they'll have those, even in the short season. A lot of players have bonuses based on those awards too, so I would imagine they, they would want those, want the Baseball Writers of America to do it. And the foil Luis Castillo. I mean, like, think about Luis Castillo, right? Luis Castillo, great young pitcher. He can just be hot for, like, how many starts are you going to get in 60 games? Eight? Eight, eight starts? 60 games? Eight starts? Nine starts? Yeah. If it happens. If it happens, right. Ten starts, maybe? You know, if he just goes off, goes like six and two, under two ERA, eight starts, maybe seven innings a start, a strikeout, maybe eight strikeouts, nine strikeouts a start, 72 strikeouts. If he just goes bananas, gets 100 strikeouts, 188 ERA, six and two record or seven and oh record or something like that over eight starts, <laughs> that could be a Cy Young. For the NL. You think they're just going to stop it? I don't think it's going to start. Any, I don't think we're going to have sports in North America this year. That's my, maybe it's a heavy downer. No, but, I mean... I just I, haven't heard one team in professional sports in America say what they're going to do if their whole clubhouse gets it. I think they just forfeit the season. So what if it's the World Series, Game Seven? Right? Yeah, I they think you just them? lose those players. Yeah. So then, and you just no bring them, no, you just bring up Triple A players. Yeah, it's I, just a total abstract season. Absolutely. On, on all sports. Oh yeah. It's just so we can. It's just so we can bet on it. That's all. I'm serious. You know how much money Vegas is losing? Major sports knows this. Yeah. What if the whole league gets it? Like, that's, of them. they had to call then, out backups. That's highly un. Then, then that's a that's a leak. That's a big leak problem. <laughs> like that means well, they messed they the messed up somewhere. Land, what, like, what if it just goes around? But yeah, let's we'll see. I guess that's a big leak problem. Then that means they weren't quarantining safely enough. All right, uh, spanning the globe, Jason Mingus for the Yankees. That'll be for Adam. He's stuck with Korean baseball and what you call it? Boy. Uh, English Premier League soccer, which is over. Which is today. pretty much over. Yeah, <laughs> Liverpool won today. Yeah. So, I mean, there's like five or six games left, but it's really just for betting and Champions League spots and relegation spots. That's it. Although that's kind of interesting, the relegation battle. Yeah, I guess if they just forfeit, then I guess that's what the resolution is. <laughs> you either forfeit or you just keep calling out AAA players because they said they're going to yeah, have... more basketball, just the roster. Is so oh, yeah, the basketball might be screwed, yeah. But baseball, they're not planning on doing a bubble, right? No. So I don't know. They're just going to travel around. Like it's AL West plays NL West. That for so it's not all bus trips. It's flights. It's, all, it's flights, yeah. So we got to get to Seattle up to Darren Redding's team. We'll see, I guess. Seems optimistic. But I think the idea is the NL, so for example, NL West teams will play each other for 40 games. Paper doesn't ship, by the way. And then NL West teams also play AL West teams for 20 games. So 40 and 20, I think it's kind of divided up like that. That is part of the same box, by the way. This is? Okay. This on camera, so it's part of the same box. Yeah, Angels, Dodgers, Angels will probably be... Yeah, there's like three games that I think. A hot ticket. Yeah, it'll be a hot ticket for the people Zooming in. The Zoom call in fans. It will certainly be a hot ticket. 
Um, Do- Dodgers, uh, Dodgers, Astros. I'm sure will be pretty popular, ratings wise. Yeah, I agree with you, Darren. It's it, this is an exhibition season. Yeah, it's, I mean it's a total fluke season. There's Vidal Bruhan to uh, four ninety nine for the Rays. Robert Runkle. If the if like if the Dodgers won it, do I consider it? It's like well, I consider the Dodgers won spring training. <laughs> Yeah, they won an exhibition. They won an exhibition, uh, exhibition season. I don't think any player will probably take it seriously either, to be honest with you. I don't know. That was my one thing. I said, hey, if if the if the player if once you start mixing in divisions like that, then that's just not. And the games are going to be two nothing, one nothing, one two. It's going to be garbage baseball. You think it's going to be garbage baseball? Yeah, I think there's going to be. I mean. Garbage in terms of entertaining baseball. You don't, you don't no think, offense. you don't think pitchers, pitchers are rusty and just hitters just tee off. I think it's, I think it goes the other way. You think it goes the other way? Bad baseball. Yeah. Basketball is going to be very rusty. NFL, I don't even know what they're. They're going to go into a regular season game one with no training camp or preseason games. Oh, that's going to be. Those they, games are. They have a hard time doing it now. Like the first few weeks are rusty. Yeah, and they have eight weeks of uh, training camp. Well, that's why we're we're not, we're not doing that football contest this year, right? Yeah, it's ridiculous. It'll be just all. Like, It'll just be fluke wins. It'll just be, be our chance, chance to win. It's <laughs> <No>. all luck. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's at the same level. All right, maybe we'll think about it. <laughs> What's up, Ian? Ian, it'll be sad for you when the Rockies make a Cinderella run in an exhibition season, crush the Dodgers' hopes and dreams. Kershaw blows it again. Yeah, or it'll be like that Mike Trout, his only time he makes the playoffs oh, for God. his career. And he wins the World Series this year, and everyone just like, you know, says it's asterisk with that. Oh, that's brutal. I wouldn't I don't even I don't want that for Mike Trout's legacy. He's not the go with that. He can only do it during pandemic season. Yeah. Yes. Like, oh, his World Series doesn't mean nothing. Alright. Like, I can't have people speaking ill of Mike Trout. Yeah, I mean, baseball is like, oh yeah, July 1st, we're doing... Whatchamacallit. They're supposedly going to have a, a rough schedule this weekend. <laughs> um, we'll see, folks. If I was a player, I'd just try to, I mean, it sounds mad, bad, but just get it now and then get it over with. Right. Because you, you'd build some sort of immunity, right? Yeah, you, it, I'd... I mean, it's still pretty young, honestly, but I think it's pretty hard to get. Like, Bobby Witt Jr. Charlie Blackman got it. Yeah, I heard Charlie Blackman got it. That goes to Josh Kopler and the Royals. Those are the only papers that ship in addition to Tony Gonsolin. Or just pay Korea like hundreds of millions of dollars and let them play there. That would be wild. Like a World Cup. Yeah, like KBO versus MLB or something. Just the best players from the MLB. I don't know. Yeah, I think the cases in South Korea are like this. Yeah, they... Yeah. South Korea, I, I saw a... I saw like a BBC News special where they were like... Pretty much, pretty much Korea, because they had SARS and MERS, and so they were a little more prepared, and the population was more prepared on what sort of civil liberties you'd have to give up for a temporary period of time. Yeah. And you have to trust your government, too. If you don't trust your government, then that's a problem. But, yeah. but they trust this particular government, and yeah. they put things on your phone, basically, to track where you were, so they yeah, know... I saw that. Yeah. So you know, like, hey, you went to Ralph's, and you went to CVS, and right. you have COVID. Oh, and then... They can shut down those places and test everyone there, and they were so aggressive about all that that they were it's able like what to. Russia does. They just put Kinda, yeah. In the street and like if you go out, like. <laughs> right. Well, I think Korea is a little more democratic about it, but. <laughs> but. Have a reason why you're going out. But yeah, they and they were able to lock areas down pretty quickly, track people, track cases, get people it's hospitalized quickly. Yeah, it's a lot smaller too. Yeah, it's tiny. 
the entire population of Korea might be like the population of LA. Yeah, I think that'd be kind of cool if they can't have the season then do like a, you know, a, some type of tournament like that. Then you're only sending, you know, 40 players or something. Right. There's Aaron Shortridge. I think there's too much money though. I think each league has like a number, a secret yeah, number that's can, like, that's like we can any. accept this percentage of players. Like it'd I mean, have to like, get to. It gets in a clubhouse, so you got to delay games two weeks at least before they got a quarantine. I think they just play elsewhere. But like, yeah, my thing is like, if it happens, you know, five to ten teams, like, they're still gonna play. Then it comes to liability. Yeah, it gets like, weird. Someone, someone dies. That would stop the season, I think. Definitely. Definitely stop the season. That, that, that'll be like it. Like third, office. like third base coach would pass away, and then be like, "Yep, we're done. That's it." Yeah. That's Jason Dominguez it'd paper. Be like, just like Rudy Gobert, it would be like the first domino. Mm-hmm. Jason Dominguez paper. I'm hoping that, though. I mean, they're hoping that they're that that they have enough like cleanliness protocols to avoid that. I guess that's the that's yeah, their hope. You get fined if you do uh, sunflower seeds. Right, if you split sunflower seeds in the in center field. I don't know why they didn't do that whole Arizona thing. That sounded good. I guess Arizona cases spiked, but maybe or that's like why. Something like NBA is doing. Yeah, I didn't. I, there's enough. I mean, there's enough baseball stadiums in Orlando or Arizona too. Because so I think that's what Fauci or says. They should have just went to like you know South Dakota, built a bunch of fields. Yeah, I think and Fauci, Doctor Fauci, was just like, I'd rather have a bubble. Like that's the safest way to do. It. You contain it in one area, but I don't know. It's harder for baseball. What does he know? There's so many more players. He's just a doctor. What does he know? Rudy Gobert, Chrome. That's for Adam Richards and the Yankees. NBA, there's what 13 guys are roster. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they have like, I read the article yesterday, like, it, it's like, they're going to let you have 30 to start, and they shave it down to 26. The roster? Yeah. 26 man roster? Yeah, I think it was supposed to be 26 uh, this year. They like added an extra spot this year, but they're going to let you have 30 for the first week, and they're cutting it down to 26 over like a couple weeks. And then there's like a, what they call, Jason Stark called it a taxi team that is just like a team that kind of doesn't train with the team. So they're like completely quarantined away from the team. So in case, yeah, so in case there's, there's cases, they bring in like that fresh blood in. There's Williams, Ast- Wilfred Astadio, sorry, Williams, his brother. That's for the Mets. What would a money line be against an A plus team versus one of those squads? <laughs> I don't know. See, I just don't see that. They're saying it's happening. They're moving along. Yeah. Players and owners yeah, have. It'll be our time to get finally make the bigs. I know. Out. Open tryouts. Yeah. No, it's true. Rudy Gobert probably did did in a way save lives by being stupid, and then you know, because he could have just been spreading it the whole time. You know. Well, I think if he didn't get it, it would have shut down the next day because then someone else got it. Someone else probably got it? But yeah. I guess, yeah, it saved the day or two. It's crazy, man. I mean, I was on planes like a couple days before. Right. Me and Jason were going to go to Chicago for that show. <laughs> that, that's right. Forgot the about that. After they shut down the NBA, they can't it. This old Bowman right here. Looks like 2015? 17? 16? 18. I think it's 18. I think it's 18. Super Alright, here we go. Next box. Yeah, tw- 30 players down to 28 players down to the 20. Down to 26. I don't know. It's going to be wild. There's Helio Ramos. This is 2018. 
That's the 499. It's one of the Giants' top prospects, I think. Robert Myhill with that. And we've got a Twins autograph, Trevor Larnock. That'll be for Dan and the Twins. There you go. He was their 20th overall pick. I think he's, is he, is he up? Is he playing a little bit? We're just gonna. I might just bet on all the underdog teams. Yeah. There's teams that are 100 to one. What if every team except them gets sick? I know that's the crazy thing. The futures plays become interesting. But yeah, I don't know. They're still calling it. You know, fine. I guess NBA is a little different. They played the most that season already. Right. So a little more legitimate. But, yeah, I think we'll see the quality of play. Well, like, basketball's going to be terrible. Too. But I think football is definitely the worst. Like, like Lakers, like LeBron's just going to lollygag the entire way because he's just ready, waiting for the playoffs. Yeah. Like the eight games is just going to lollygag into the playoffs. Right the I don't know why they didn't skip right to the playoffs. Just say sorry I to the... that's what they were doing, to be honest. Sorry to the bubble teams, and then there's well, Andy Ziegler. Right. I mean, I think that's a lot of people are like, it's kind of the, 100% of the reason. It's 100% of the reason was just like, oh, can we just get Zion and maybe John Morant to play each other for a game or two? They should have just done a playing series for hope. Josh Bro, 35 out of 50. Gold Shimmer autograph for the for the Yankees, Adam Richards. Oh, is that right? Josh Perot. Yeah, I think LSU is known for a lot of French. Oh, that's true. Louisiana in general, right? I think so, yeah. I think New Orleans was a... Well, yeah, Louisiana was like a French colony. Yeah. And then, the, uh, then we the bought it. The what we call it? Bought it. The, the Louisiana, Louisiana Purchase. Purchase. Yeah. Probably one of the, one of the best deals... That was a steal. Talk about eBay deals. Yeah. Man, what a deal that was. The other best real estate deal was the was how we fleeced Native Americans to get Manhattan. That one's not as fun to talk about. No, it's not as fun to talk about because at least France was a superpower. Yeah. And we like fleeced like just we're stealing from like and these uh, like light. these like little Americans. What do we know? You know, fleece them to buy the buy Louisiana. There's Josh Burrow again, 250. They were like, you know, we didn't tell anybody. Either. Right. The Louisiana Purchase. There's Alec Baum. He's supposed to be supposed to be a big deal for the Phillies. Jim Morin with the Phillies. There you go, Jim. He's their third overall pick back in 2018. He might get a look this year. If this is an exhibition season, why not just play your entire Triple A team? Because there's there, there's no well yeah. What's the point of thirty million dollar Clay, Clayton Kershaw going out there? Coronavirus champion T-shirts. <laughs> I guess so. But wouldn't you just put your Triple A team out there and just be like, all right? Because they, they they don't have a season. Minor leagues don't have a season. So yeah. give like your youngsters, like Alec Baum. Well, if there was Some a case time. of like a uh, journeyman MLB player versus a triple-A guy, I would definitely choose a triple-A guy. Right. Dude, I'd love to see like Dominguez on the Yankees big league roster. I'd yeah, just <laughs> put Jason Dominguez on there. If you Dude, just have, I, that'd be so sick. You just have uh, Giancarlo stand ahead of him and then Aaron Judge behind him protecting him. He's going to get fastball all the time. He'll just rake. Yeah. Jason Dominguez cars will be through the roof. Come on, Yankees. It's a good idea. 
Bobby Witt. Yeah, just do that. Just get them all up there. Anything good for the hobby. Logan Gilbert, refractor autograph to four ninety nine. Update baseball would be the highlight. Ooh, update baseball would be a would be hot. All right, Mariners, Brenton Young, refractor autograph. This is all paper that we're breezing through. Paper doesn't ship. And no, I don't have to look for Robert Possons or Bill, Bobby Wood Jr. or Jason Domingo in here. Got some this green paper definitely shipped. So there's Carter Keeboom. Look how young he looks there. It's a 99. That's for the Nats. Courtney with the Nationals. And there's Jared Kalanick. This is still Mets edition of Jared Kalanick. That's a Bowman's first Jared Kalanick. This is pre pre Seattle trade Jared Kalanick. This is from the Milwaukee area, Jared, Jared Kellnick. Talks like Rory Wagner or any of our Milwaukee guys who are in the room or in the chat. Don't rave about this guy. That's Mets edition going to Aaron Haynes. Big prospect. The Mets traded away for Cano, among others. I don't know if that was the best move, but... Yeah, it might be a yikes a few years down the line. Especially now with COVID. Cano's done. Yeah, it's another year of <laughs> Robin's Cano gone. It wasn't that good to begin with. It was all steroids. Yeah. I don't, I, I, yeah, I don't know why they made that deal. Why did the Mets make that deal? What's what's Brody doing? Van Wagon, why is he... I know, they're selling that team now. Oh, yeah, A-Rod and J-Lo are in the... Ownership group. And Mike Rapoli of uh, Body Armor and Vitamin Water thing. And what? The Vitamin Water guy? Yeah. And Barcel Sports isn't on it? Yeah. Wow. Like very small percentage, I'd imagine. But the, the Body Armor guy, I think he's a billionaire. Interesting. J -Rod, uh, I almost called him J-Rod. That's <laughs> kind of cool. J-Rod? That's actually Yeah, J-Rod. That couple, I don't know how much money. You're going to be J-Rod soon, right? What? Are, they, are, they, are they not married? Oh, yeah. She'll be J Rod soon. Yeah. I don't know how much money they have. J Rod's a ton of She probably has more than A Rod, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, she has like clothing lines and product lines that she's just making bank off of. Every tour, she makes $100 million and more. more. You know? Yeah. She's make, she makes so much more than A Rod. I mean, A Rod's made what five hundred million in his career. Yeah, four hundred. You know, and, and then Jennifer Lo yeah Jennifer Lopez is making that every time she tours, probably more. And she's how I many world tours has she done? You know, dozens. <laughs> yeah, All right, there's Jacob Pearson for the Angels. This is twenty seventeen. Well, yeah, the guy, he sold vitamin water to, like, Snapple or whatever, and then oh, created body armor. Not bad. Which I've never had body You're armor. making money off of flavored water. Brilliant. Just tell people there's vitamins in there. I know, right? I think doctors are like, it doesn't, it just kind of, <laughs> it doesn't really, there's not enough. Yeah. <laughs> it, like, the it water, water, like, literally waters it down, so... Yeah. It's like, yeah, it's there, I guess, but it doesn't absorb as well as, like, actual foods are taking a vitamin. But it sounds good. JLo's only worth $400 million, says Brad? Well, that's those net worth ones. I never trust those. I don't know. I, I like feel like... Google their net worth. Well, A-Rod, I mean, he can't be... He's definitely not making more than she is now because he's retired right. and only doing the ESPN. Yeah, he's not He's not raking in that kind of paycheck. No, I'd imagine they pay him, what, a few million dollars a year? Yeah. 
Taylor Ward. That's in the parallel spot she did there. That movie. Yeah, she's making. She's yeah. She's yeah. making all the all that money on. Probably makes like ten, fifteen, twenty million dollars a picture. But yeah, if made you, in Manhattan. She probably made. If you combine them, I guess they could buy maybe twenty-five percent of the match. I don't know. I guess it depends on how good their investments are. All right, got Taylor Walls, the two fifty. Then the guy who owns the Sixers, not the main guy, but one of the guys is the second leading bidder. Is that Peter Alonzo? I'll say, I'll say one of those. That's not one of his first, right? I think it is his first. Wouldn't it say? Maybe not. not, not. One of the years they took the first one. I don't know. We'll save that anyway, Mets, just for fun. Aaron Haynes. Ah, uh, this is 2017. Right. Yeah, it would say first then. Um, oh yeah, and Darren, yeah, going back to that Cano deal. Yeah, I don't know who exactly they moved, but I know it was Cano and Kalanick went, went the other way. That was, a, that was a sharp trade. How much you make for Selena? Was J Lo Selena? What's that a movie? Yeah, about the this uh, about this singer, Tehana singer who was killed, the height of her career, Quentin Holmes, by a crazed fan, I believe. Cleveland Indians, Jim Morin with the Quentin Holmes. Kind of a sad story, yeah. She was like one of the biggest rising stars in like Latin speaking, Spanish speaking countries. And she was just about to, she was pretty close. She, I think she had a couple hits in the U.S. But she was like the next big crossover star. And like an Enrique Iglesias or something like that. She was going to be huge. But. There's Casey Clemens. There you go. That's the Clemens. That's with the Blue Jays organization. So one day you'll see a, a lineup with Clemens, Biggio, Guerrero, Jr., and Bichette. It'll look like a like it'll look like a '90s lineup. I've been enjoying the baseball references simulated season. Yeah, how's that going? Vladimir Guerrero Jr. is crushing. Is he raking? Yeah. To 4.99. Just been checking that every night. See how the Angels are doing. I didn't realize they were running a simulated season. Yeah, it's right on their homepage. You just click on simulated season. How are the Dodgers doing? I, I, I think they're the best team. I don't like them. <laughs> <laughs> don't like them. You're not paying attention to that. No. Uh, there's Seth Corey, Giants. I'd like to see, I'd like to see Pete Alonso win the NL MVP. I think that would be good for the hobby. Big market team. Won Rookie of the Year last year. Keeps the hype going. Wins an MVP this year. Uh, nah, not Seth Curry. Seth Curry. <laughs> Oliver. I had to do a double take. I was like, wait, is that? did it say Curry? There's Riley Adams. The, uh, to 200. The Dodgers are 62 and 19. Nice. Amazing. That's pretty good for a, considering a 60-game season is about to come up. The Rockies are 16 and a half games back so far. Angels are 46 and 34. This looks like Series 1. Or Bowman from last year. Not Series 1. No, this is Series 1. Or Series 2. It's a series, folks. Leading the MLB in home runs so far is Pete Alonso. Oh, nice. Cody Ballinger in second. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. in fourth. 25 home runs Vlad has. He's got a 294 batting average and 55 RBI. That's good for the hobby. Amazing. That's great for the hobby. At almost like a month, a few weeks before the halfway point of the season. War though is Juan Soto. He's hitting 349 with 24 home runs and 80 RBI. That's good for the hobby. What a monster. There is Marwin Gonzalez, two color patch and autograph featuring the 2018 postseason 
where they were probably cheating there too. Wow. This is not true. That's what Major League Baseball reported. I don't want. I'm not saying anything that's false. Wow. That's what Manfred said. Do mm-hmm. you think Altuve had an inspire on? That I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Some people. Uh, I mean, take I. Off his jersey. <laughs> That's really suspicious, the not taking off the jersey. He's holding it. I just watched the clip again. It's gotta be, right? Like he's holding his chest. That's the one he hit off of Chapman, right? Yeah. It was the clincher for the ALCS. Well, how weird was that? Like, why wouldn't... And he wasn't excited at all. It was just weird. Because I we were, we were we were here. We were watching yeah. the game here. Yeah. And I remember, it was like, oh, wow, what a home run. And then it was just weird how he came around the bases and he was just like, didn't want... Because usually... You could just send your team to the World Series. Yeah, you can do whatever you want with my jersey. Like yeah. just like you've seen players just like go go nuts and just and they're just in their like Under Armour shirt by the time they're doing the interview, you know? Yeah, they got Gatorade. Yeah. So did you watch the video where before his interview with whoever the MLB Network guy yeah, is? Yeah, he think he, he like runs downstairs. Yeah. Changes the shirt. There's Miguel Andujar, 10 out of 10 acetate. That's nice. Adam Richards. But then the Yankees got dinged for potentially suspicious stuff. So, so then they just swept out. They, it was like a letter that the FBI. Had. Yeah. Now I just think everyone does it, so I can't. I feel like I can't be too like. <laughs> Definitely the teams that are good. Yeah. So I did. Unless the like unless the Dodgers just chumps and don't cheat, so that's why they don't win. <laughs> And Kershaw just gets smoked every year. It seemed like it was just Red Sox, Yankees, Astros. I don't know. I mean, I feel like... But if all those teams are doing it, you got to think that those guys in the clubhouse pass them along to their bodies in the I feel like it's more... I feel like it's more than we'd like to think. I think that's why Major League Baseball was like, let's get this done quickly. Yeah, and let's like just kind of put out, put out these weak punishments and then let's just move on because he I don't think he wants to set the precedent where he's just like oh what happens if I have to suspend Mike Trout for life you can't just make because if Mike Trout God forbid I would have suspended the manager for life for yeah and the GMs too what's the main guy's name Uh, Hinch? Yeah, Hinch. And uh, Beltron. He was already pretty much retired. Or, oh, no, he was he was about to be Mets manager. Yeah, he got hired That's as right. Mets, and then, like, a week later, they had, they had a fire on him. It was, like, the most Mets thing ever. But see, that I think that's the concern. Like, if Chris Bryant turns out, he's, like, orchestrating, like, Signal stealing, yeah. like real time signal stealing. I think you can punish the players. I think you can punish the GMs and teams. And It'd be hard to just like prove that a player was doing it. All right. Let's try to get some, through some of the heavier stuff first, like this tall stack right here. Darren Redding, all right, I'll bite. You think Kershaw's on the take? There's Bryce Harper. You think you think Kershaw's like in deep with the mob, and he's just throwing games? He had the Astros on the series money line. Got to pay the loan sharks. No, yeah. He, he, he was, he was so genuinely distraught. Like, I think, yeah, I don't, I don't think he's, I don't think he's on the take. I mean, if you take out some of those two, 2017 World Series games, 
I don't know. I think he puts a lot of pressure on himself at a time, you know, at times when he really shouldn't. I've said, I've said before that I think, like, I can see Kershaw not having a great postseason until he's, like, like really old. Like, he's, like, 39 or something like that, 40, you know? And then he just relaxes and just chills out. And then that's when I think all of a sudden he'll just stumble into, like, this this like vintage Kershaw performance in the World Series to clinch it. And they'll ask him what, what was different about this than back in the day. And he'll just be like, I just relax. I just didn't care. <laughs> like, I was just like, I've accomplished all that I can accomplish, you know. Yeah, I mean, the numbers, the numbers and the optics are two different things. You know, what I mean, you can probably look at the Kershaw numbers, and they're probably the postseason numbers probably aren't that bad. Like, uh, sometimes I, I see people go, well, C Kobe Bryant clutch, right? But then some someone will be like, oh, but look at these stats. Kobe Bryant in the fourth quarter isn't as good as so-and-so. But so, okay, it's a reverse, right, for Kobe. Maybe the stats don't show it, but in the optics, everyone's like, all right, last shot, you know, is going to be Kobe Bryant any day of the week. I don't know. We'll see. Hi, Daniel. Uh, best hit of the day? I don't know. What do you think, folks? Uh, it's all been kind of a blur to me. We've done two mixers and a bunch of other. We pulled a lot of great stuff. All right, Tops Chrome. All right, that's the thing, right, Darren? There's opportunity, too. You know, Kershaw will fail more in clutch situations because he's the guy you want in clutch situations. He's like the, he's going to have more chances to be in those moments because you want him in those moments. There's Ty Black, rookie auto for the Giants. That's going to be for Robert Myhill. That's a rookie, Aaron Judge. Oh, this will be 2016. Pop Chrome. So there's Aaron Judge, rookie card, going to Adam Richards. Might be gradable. I did all those. There's Aaron Judge again in that 87, 88, late 80s frame format, wood frame format. There's Braden Shipley, Josh with the Diamondbacks.
87 maybe? That's what it says right there. So Anthony Rendon, that's still Nationals edition. 87, says Jay Cohn. Yeah, I think you're right. Got some Donruss baseball right here. Careful, easy, all right. That 87 sets in your basement? What is that worth now? Are there any big rookies in that set? Larkin. El Mago, nickname card. And Ken Griffey Jr., Reds edition. Relic. Red Relic going to Travis. Oh, Bo Jackson. Bonds, McGuire, non Olympic, few others, but not worth anything too mass produced. And there's Herman Marquez for the Rockies. That's for Josh Kotler. Garrett Cole. We got Carlos Santana. Ruben Sierra's in it? Whatever happened to Ruben Sierra? There's Abraham Toro to 99. That's for the Astros. That's going to go to Robert Runkel. Will the Thrill. Will Clark. Great swing. Great batting stance. Lock 349. All right, so that was Donner's baseball. Come on, contenders baseball. All right, let's go prison baseball. Spencer Turnbull to 175. These blues are not numbered here in 2020, so they're not. The reds aren't numbered either. They'll still ship. We're just breezing by them. They're parallels. Pretty common parallels. Like that Michael Baez. Yeah, my club Liverpool winning the Premier League today due to a loss by Manchester City. Maurizio Dubon, nice. Rookie autograph for the Giants. Little Oppo Joe Mojo. Robert Myhill. Ruben Sierra have a good batting stance? I don't remember his batting stance. Was it kind of like this? I feel like he had a big leg kick. Big leg kick? Okay, so like, like Maurizio Dubon. Brad Keller to 149. 
JD Martinez to 99. So I guess, at least for this season, the postseason. Ooh, nice Nico Horner, Tiger Stripe. These are pretty rare. They're short printed. Super short print? SSP maybe? Or just SP? SSP maybe. Super short print. That goes to the Cubbies. That'll be for Zach Teal. And the Cubbies. A DH. Universal DH this regular season and postseason. Let's try it Demerit. But no runner at second in extra inning games for postseason. Postseason games just innings go on forever. Tigers, that'll be for Josh. This might be the last we've seen of the DH. Uh, or of the of pitchers hitting, that is, let's put it that way. It's the last we're gonna see J Jacob deGrom hit, I think. I'm more of a I'm more of a I'm an NL guy, I grew up an NL guy, so I think I've always been there's Otani about pitchers hitting, but there were some there are some AL guys who are like, forget it, you know, like Boss Man and, and Nick Nick's family, Nick Jaspi's family, they kind of grew up AL guys. You know, so I think they're more on the AL side. I think it's like, yeah, DH is great. The Luis Robert autograph. Nice prospect auto for the White Sox. Ryan Shackleton on the board. Jason Stark pointed out, I love Jason Stark, he pointed out that uh, with a runner on second, you could lose a perfect game. Right, so if you take a perfect game past the ninth inning, you're saying if it's 0-0, zero, zero, and you were throwing a perfect game, and then you come out in the bottom of the 10th, <laughs> or the top of the 10th, whatever, and there's a runner on second already, yeah, I guess you're right. Will that count again? Wow. Are they, is that how they're going to score it? It'll be an in, like a walk or an inherited runner or something like that, so you can lose a perfect game? There's Matt Tice. I mean, I guess there's a human on base, so like that's the idea of a perfect game, right? No one's standing at any base at any point during the game. There's Tyrone Taylor to 50. Zach Gallen to 25. Ramon Laureano to 100 and for Texas Nick Solak Rangers that'll be for Darren Redding right yeah all we're saying it's a moot point because what 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 starter is going to go 10 innings right it's never going to happen Jay Cohen saying but yeah from a from a I guess theoretical sense it's pretty interesting because what happens if there, I mean, okay, there's a possibility of, is there a possibility of like a combined perfect game <laughs> where a pitcher and, and the following, really, or is, it, is that a, not a true perfect game? <laughs> if like your bullpen does, because you can have a combined no-hitter, right? The redemption is Wander Franco, Rays, Robert Ronkel, nice. Oh, it's, I, I can't find my... I, I got got more boxes. It's going to happen. It's Rays is going to get it. We'll look it up. 
All right. Uh, let's keep going here. We got contenders. Gabriel Marcel. Prospect ticket. I suppose you could have like an insane, going back to the perfect game thing, you can have an insanely, uh, oh, is this draft picks? I don't know where you go. We'll look that, we'll look those up later. Um, you could technically have an incredibly efficient game, right? Just get ground outs. One pitch ground outs. I know he's a Yankee. 17 out of 23. Anthony Velope. He's got a nice auto. It's good penmanship. That'll be for Adam Richards. Cracked ice autograph, too, from Contenders Draft Picks Baseball. Royce Lewis, I know, is a... Oh, it says Twins right there already. Oh, is that Twins, too? I mean, it does say. All right, so that's Minnesota. See, but this one says shortstop. Is this University of Minnesota? Oh, no, that's Twins. This one just says shortstop, but that's a Yankee now. Royce Lewis, I know, is a twin. That'll be uh, for Dan, Dan Carlberg with that. When's Royce Lewis gonna gonna make some noise? There's Hunter Bishop. Giant? 91 out of 99. He's in his college gear here. Logan Wyatt. Royal, maybe? We'll look those up. All right, Josh Young. That's a nice one for the Rangers. That'll be for Darren Redding. Nice on-card autograph, too. some stadium club. We're almost there. So we just got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And what's down? Oh, looks like some special stuff back here. All right. Let's see what's right there. Excellent photography as always in stadium club. Oh, and as Stefan Tartley Base card autograph black foil parallel. Nice. I don't know where he goes, but we'll look it up. From 2019 seating? I feel like I should know this guy. Where my pen go? Yeah. Mm, well, yeah. In 2019, he'd be a he'd be a Yankee. He got traded to the Marlins, though. But he'd be a Yankee in this set. And an on-card autograph, Daniel Ponce de Leon. Looking for the Fountain of Youth. That goes to the Cardinals. Darren Redding with the Redbirds.
Let's move through this Chronicles baseball. And we got Danny Jansen, America's Pastime Autograph, 9 out of 10. Is Danny Jansen? I know it's a family show, ladies and gentlemen, so let's keep this let's keep this delicate. But was he the one that was caught recently? Or was that Reese McGuire? In his car? Careful how I answer this, folks. It is a family show. C.D. Pelham, <laughs> rookie autographs. It wasn't Danny Jansen. The other Blue Jays catcher. <laughs> Ian says. <laughs> Ian says it was Reese McGuire, but it actually seemed like Danny would be the type to be caught doing something like that. Oh boy, we're gonna, we're gonna get some. We're gonna have some parents call me tomorrow. It's like my son, my daughter looked up what Reese McGuire did and we thought this was a family show and listen ladies and gentlemen it gets a little TV 14 sometimes there's Jose Abreu dual relic just happens especially after a long day of breaking Pelham was Texas Rangers that'll be what did I say something else Darren Redding with Texas that's you Vlad Guerrero Jr., season ticket card. Okay, we've got... What about some prison? What do we have here? We got Riley Green to 25. Cameron Cannon. I don't know off the top of my head. That'll be in the we have to look up pile before it ships out. I feel like I, 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 I someone's going to say something. I'm going to be like, yeah, that's it, that's it. It's a Padre. Brady McConnell. Royal maybe? Blue team? There's Bobby Witt Jr., All-Americans, Royals, of course. Matt Walner, Team USA. Adley Rushman, that's a Giants prospect there. Chase Strumpf, I believe, is Cubs. And there's Brady McConnell again. Matt Walner again? Isn't there a Matt Walner right here? Two Walners, two McConnells. And probably a five autograph box. Donruss Optic Baseball. And Kyle Waldrop. Black Ink Autograph. Rated Rookie Black Ink Autograph for the Red Legs. Cincinnati Reds. Travis Donahue with that. Uh, McConnell is Brady McConnell, Kansas City. That's where those will go. Miguel Sano, rated rookie to 149. 
Giancarlo Stanton, 99. Mariano Rivera masters the game to 149. It's a two monster box mixer, ladies and gentlemen. And I even pulled the, the paper out of the Bowman, too. The redemption is Byung-Ho Park, who I think is also a twin. Rated rookie signature. Evan White, Seattle Mariners. That'll be for Brenton Young. Rory sent that to me. Yeah, he was just like, I guess he had one. He was just like, sent it as a gift. Like, That's awesome. And Taylor Trammell. Kind of a small autograph there, but that's Red's edition. Travis Donia. Hasn't he been traded? Maybe he's with San Diego now. I feel like he got moved around in various deals recently, along with Jeter Downs. And There's a Bellinger rookie to 250. Yeah, Jay Cohen says he's with the Padres now. What was What deal was that? Jeter Downs is with the Dodgers, and then he got moved to the Red Sox for two months of Mookie, for 60 games of Mookie Betts. I think he got moved around, too. There's Tristan Lutz. I think he's still with the Brew Crew, Shane, and the Brewers. Trammell went to the Padres in the three-team deal that sent Bauer to the Red. Hey, you don't need the other. There you go. Uh, who's box I'm going to close that one. Or do you want to leave it open in case or something? Uh, leave it open. I'll, I'll lock it. I'll lock it. All right. See you guys next week. Good work. Good work. Good work. Right, Fran Mill Reyes to the Indians. There's Brett Phillips at 250. When is, there's Trevor Rogers for Miami. Adam Copperman with the Marlins. Right, and we, we, might, we might have gotten fleeced by the Red Sox, Jay. And poor Jeter down. Not poor Jeter down. Jeter Downs will be fine. He'll, he'll just rake on whatever team he's at. There's Andrew Neisner to 150 for the Cardinals. That'll be for Darren Redding. Redding and the Redbirds. When is Francisco Mejia going to go off? Yeah, Dodgers love to trade with the Reds. And apparently... Yeah, because like Kyle Farmer, there was that Kyle Farmer deal that Kemp went to the Reds, right? And Kyle Farmer and someone else, one of their outfielders. There's Anthony Rizzo to 50. Right, Scott Shebler went. And then I guess Dodgers really like Alex Wood because they brought him back. <laughs> There's Luis Gill for the Yankees, Adam Richards. I like Scott Shebler. And Kyle Farm. Kyle Farm can play like third and catcher and he can move around a little bit. You think at worst Kyle Farmer will be a great utility guy. Shebler's just a good bat. There's John Duplantier. Josh and the Diamondbacks. Ooh, Josiah Gray was another guy that came. I think Josiah is still on the Dodgers though, right? There's Duplantier. I like his game too. Josh Cobbler with that. And my rival team, the AL, NL West rival. And behind Casey Mize is Genesis Cabrera to 99. His autograph kind of running off the edge of the card. Riley Green to 99. Vlad Jr. rookie.
let's do this leaf first, and then we'll end with the tribute. We've got Riley Green. Red? We have Matthew Lugo. Orioles? Joey Bart, Giants. That'll be for Rob Myhill. Tigers, Riley Green. You're right. That's, you're absolutely right, actually, Jay. Tommy Henry, sounds like a brave. Challenging my baseball knowledge here. Uh, Sterling Sharp, no, don't know. Denver Broncos, Sterling Sharp. Or is that Shannon Sharp? And Matt Gorski. Brave? I don't know. That, that group we have to look up. All right. We got, oh, I thought it was going to be an autograph for a second. Triple Relic Buster Posey, 29 out of 50. That is for the Giants' Robert Myhill. Ahmed Rosario, that's an autograph. 47 out of 75. He's got a nice auto. That will be for the Mets, Aaron Haynes with the Metropolitans. And we've got Buster Posey and Brandon Crawford dual relic to 150. Two color dual relic, another giant for Robert Myhill. More giants, Christian Arroyo autograph, 44 out of 99. Another one for Robert Myhill. Yeah, the hated ones. More Giants. Monty Irving. Johnny Bench. And Evan Longoria, a current Giant. This is Ray's edition, though. 96 out of 99. That'll be for Robert Runkle. It even has that uh, authentication sticker, which I love. So if you go to MLB.com slash authentication, look up those series of letters and numbers. You'll see exactly where that jersey came from, what day that came from. Look up the box score. There you go. There's a good Dodger right here out of 99. Sandy Koufax. And maybe, maybe Longo did something that day. And a giant, Clint Frazier, is your rookie autograph to 199. Um, that goes to Adam Richards. He used to be in the Indians organization, maybe. And Brooks Robinson. Nice. Nice Brooks Robinson. And there you go. Oh. Can't forget about this and the giveaway. It's going to be for the Reds. It's Joey Votto. Is it autographed? No. Sometimes they're numbered. Sometimes they're autographed. But not this time. There's your box topper. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Nice. We got this clocked in at an hour and 20 minutes. Man, if it wasn't Nick, when Nick wasn't around, it probably wouldn't have happened today. Nick wasn't around. Uh, who knows? This would have been like a two and a half hour break. All right. So let's flip back to Fresh Dice, new list. Got Josh down to Courtney and everybody in between. And let's roll it and randomize it six and a four, 10 times. Name on top gets the uh, Julio Rodriguez nine, five, 10. After 10. Good luck. One, two, three. And 10th and final time. After 10, big thanks to everybody who got into the action. And the winner is Josh. Josh Coppler, who won that spot in a hanger break, ends up with the 9-5-10 Julio Rodriguez, centering edges, corners, and 9-5.
Surf is a nine. Uh, I think Nick was saying this is like a $400 value. As of now, I mean, this could go up if once he makes it. When, when did he get drafted? Signed in 2017. Still about 18, 19 years old. Maybe 20 at this point. So, I know Mariners fans seem to be pretty excited about him. All right. Thanks very much, everyone. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.